now got two thirds of the 7.5 million children from Ukraine who are displaced. But one of the things that we and our partners have been able to do is to keep them connected with education through online learning. Here right now we have a group of students sitting in front of computers doing online learning. But even that's not simple. Today we saw online classes being suspended as the teachers in Ukraine had to go into bunkers because there was a missile alert. The children were then able to do some offline learning, but of course this is ongoing disruption and it's also ongoing reminders for the children of the reality in the country they've left behind. We know through our experience of previous conflicts and then we've seen globally through COVID, children missing out on even a few months of education, let alone missing out of one year or more, is incredibly corrosive, both to their learning, but also to their social engagement, their ability to, to grow and build friends. So we are very, very concerned about the children of Ukraine missing out on any education. So across Ukraine and in the other countries we work, World Vision is doing a balance of remedial education to bring them back up to the level, as well as supporting them to doing ongoing online learning. Even after one year, we are very concerned that this conflict could cross a, a whole generation. And losing one year of education could have an effect on these children over and over again. Unfortunately, many of the two-thirds of the children who are displaced will not be returning home within the coming school year. So it is absolutely imperative that we continue to provide education in all of its forms, from early centre education, informal, remedial and formal education, to ensure that the children of Ukraine can in the future rebuild and create a future for their country. As we come up to the first year of this war, World Vision has been speaking to the children and listening to the children around what their greatest needs are. The children have told us that only 25% of them feel confident that they currently have access to high quality education. We know that over 2,000 education facilities have been bombed, damaged or destroyed and we know that millions of children have been displaced. So World Vision from the very beginning of this conflict have been supporting children to find safe spaces to learn, to access to computers, to internet, to continue online learning, and where we can to encourage them to assimilate into the schools that are being run in the different countries. But this is an everyday activity. At the same time as this education, we need to understand that many of these children are extremely fearful. We predict that up to one and a half million children could suffer long-term mental health damage because of the conflict. 83% of children are telling us that they are extremely concerned because of the conflict. So our education facilities and our education work is going hand in hand with our mental health and psychosocial work. So children can feel protected, loved, engaged, but most importantly, they can have hope for the future. World Vision started to respond within hours of the first conflict, and we have been able to reach nearly 700,000 people across Ukraine, Moldova, Romania, and Georgia. But 90% of that work is done through local partners. Without them, we could never have achieved this. Our local partners are incredibly important to us. They are important because they understand the context, they are able to respond, and we in turn are supporting them to build long-term sustainable capacity to improve the future of their countries.